On the 22nd of September, a missile hit the Black Sea Fleet headquarters in Sevastopol, occupied Crimea, supposedly killing the Admiral of the Black Sea Fleet, Viktor Sokolov, along with 33 other Russian officers. But then, the Russian government published two videos supposedly showing Sokolov. So, is he alive? Maybe. But as usual, there seems to be something fishy about it. The first video shows him at a meeting, but we never hear him speak. At all. So, it could be an old recording of him slid in, or some other sorcery. The second video shows him speaking, but the video released on September 27th also shows Sokolov at an awards ceremony congratulating members of the Black Sea Fleet football team for their performance in the tournament which already ended on September 18th. In an interview following the commentary, he supposedly comments on the strike on the headquarters and his own death, however without any clear mention of anything really. See for yourself. А что у нас случилось? У нас ничего не случилось. Жизнь продолжается. Черноморский флот выполняет задачи, которые поставил на командование перед ним. Regardless, the Ukrainian side has vowed to double-check their sources on whether his death can in fact be confirmed. At this moment, anything is possible. But it's not really any use for Ukraine to just announce someone's elimination without it actually being true, because the whole point of the operation is to stop someone from doing their job. Of course, some people miraculously survive the most unsurvivable events. But for Russia, there's also a good reason to hide such a loss. Apart from losing an important commander, his death would also be a huge embarrassment. That being said, the death of any higher military commander is a sensitive topic on both sides. Sometimes, it really isn't easy to know the truth. Actually, it quite often isn't that easy. So, welcome to Talking Tactics where this week we want to give you a short overview of the highest ranking Russian officers killed or presumably eliminated by Ukraine in the past 20 months of war. We also want to give a couple of examples of how contradicting information can spread in light of such events and how hard it sometimes is to know the truth. Anyway, down to business. The first to go was Andrei Sukhovetsky, Major General, Deputy Commander of the 31st Combined Arms Army, killed by a sniper in the Chernigov region in late February, early March 2022. His death was confirmed by the Russian side. By the way, in the Russian army, the rank of Major General equals a one star or Brigadier General in a Western army. If you're not familiar with the ranking system, typically a full general has four stars and then it goes down. Three for a Lieutenant General, two for a Major General and a one star general is a Brigadier General. In the Russian army, it's a little bit different. As just mentioned, a Major General has one star. A Lieutenant General has two stars. A three star general is a Colonel General. A four-star general doesn't exist. The rank is called Army General. He carries one star plus a red star wrapped in a laurel wreath. Anyway, back to the topic at hand. Second to go was Major General Andrei Kolesnikov, commander of the 29th Combined Arms Army of the Eastern Military District, deployed before Ukraine in Syria, killed on the 11th of March. Third was Alek Mityaev, who also held the rank of Major General and was commander of the 150th Motorized Rifle Division. He was killed in the Battle for Mariupol on the 15th of March. The Azov Battalion claimed responsibility for Mityaev's death, which was also indirectly confirmed by pro-Russian telegram channels. Major General Vladimir Frolov, Deputy Commander of the 8th Guards Combined Arms Army. Killed on April 10, 2022, the circumstances of his death are not clear, however the Russian side has confirmed his timely demise. Number 5. Major General Andrei Simonov, Deputy Chief of the Electronic Warfare Troops of the Russian Armed Forces. He was eliminated on April 29, 2022, near the town of Izium after an artillery strike on the command post of the 2nd Combined Arms Army. Kanamad Botashev, a retired Air Force general who participated in the war as a member of the PMC Wagner. Botashev's Su-25 was shot down by the armed forces of Ukraine on the 22nd of May. The Russian side also confirmed his death. Lieutenant General Roman Kutuzov, killed in action on the 5th of June, first deputy commander of the 8th Guards Combined Arms Army. Also served as commander of the 1st Army Corps fighting under the flag of the so-called Donetsk People's Republic killed in Nikolaevka in Luransk Oblast, his death also confirmed by the Russian side. Major General Dmitry Olyanov, killed on the 6th of February 2023. Olyanov was in fact previously retired, but reinstated as commander of a regiment formed for mobilized men from Tatarstan. Major General Sergei Garyachev. At the beginning of the invasion, Garyachev was commander of the 5th Tank Brigade before being promoted to Chief of Staff of the 35th Combined Arms Army. Russian propagandists called him one of the brightest and most effective military commanders of the highest professionalism. He died on June 12, supposedly by a storm shadow missile strike in the region of Zaporizhia. Number 10, Alek Tsokov, deputy commander of the Southern Military District. 
He died in a strike on the 58th Army's Reserve Command Post in Berdyansk during the Ukrainian counteroffensive in July. There are a couple of more complicated or contested cases. Vitaly Gerasimov, not to confuse with Valery Gerasimov, the Chief of General Staff. Lieutenant General Vitaly Gerasimov served as the first commander of the 41st Combined Arms Army of the Russian Federation. His death on March 7, 2022 near Kharkiv was reported by the main intelligence directorate of Ukraine. This was later even confirmed by the investigative media platform Bellingcat. However, he was later allegedly seen at the awards ceremony of the Order of Alexander Nevsky, so whether he's really dead is unknown. Another case is that of Lieutenant General Yakov Rezantsev, commander of the 49th Combined Arms Army. Reportedly killed on the 25th of March by an artillery strike at the airbase in Chernobyevka, Kherson Oblast, but also his death is contested. There were many rumors of his sighting, and in February 2023, he was listed by the Ukrainian government's war criminals database as alive. Anyhow, if you're asking yourself how come so many Russian generals have died in the war, well, there are a couple of answers as usual. For example, a disproportionately high amount of security leaks. Another is the fact that in the Russian army, lower ranking generals are supposedly forced to take a hands-on approach due to low morale and discipline. Another reason for so many generals being so close to the front line is that they lack an efficiently centralized command structure like in Western armies, where the whole war is navigated on one platform. So there is a large need for some sort of authority figure on the ground to avoid everything descending into chaos. It's hard to know exactly, and like in most cases, there's probably a bit of truth in all these theories. Anyway, we hope that we are able to show you that being a high-ranking Russian officer involved somehow in the illegal and brutal invasion of Ukraine is a dangerous job and we do not recommend it. Thanks for watching Talking Tactics. Hit like and subscribe and see you next week. Also, you can follow us on Telegram to always stay up to date with the latest news from Ukraine.